So this question is a system of equations question. We know that by the setup, right? We have this system of equations, two equations stacked on top of each other. We also know that by reading the question, which says if x, y is the solution to the system of equations above, what is the value of x, right? We're trying to figure out what x is. So whenever we see a system of equations on this test, we should be thinking about two different processes. One is substitution, right? Which I typically, well, I will only use substitution on this test if there is a variable already isolated um, in the question, which is not the case here. And the second more commonly used uh, method on this test for system of equations is elimination. So this is the one we're going to use today because we don't have an isolated variable. Each variable x and y have coefficients in front. So I'm going to rewrite these equations. So negative 3x plus 4y equals 20 and 6x plus 3y equals 15. The question wants me to solve for x, right? So typically when I'm using elimination, I will eliminate whichever variable I want to eliminate, whichever one I think is easiest to eliminate. But instead here, because I'm trying to solve for X, I'm going to eliminate Y, right? Because by crossing the Y's out, I get to solve for X and then I get straight to my answer. So right now I have a 4Y and a 3Y. So if I were to multiply the top equation by negative 3, I'd end up with a negative 3 times negative 3x, which is positive 9x, negative 3 times positive 4y, which is negative 12y, and negative 3 times 20, which is negative 60. And then I'm going to multiply this second equation by a positive 4, and you'll see why in a second. 4 times 6 is 24x, 4 times positive 3y, is positive 12y, which is what I want to happen, right? That allows me to cancel out or eliminate my y values. And then lastly, 4 times 15 is positive 60. So when I combine these two equations together now, right, when I add them together, I get 9x plus 24x, which is 33x. And I get negative 60 plus 60, which is 0, which means... Right? I can divide both sides by 33 if I want. It means that x must equal 0, so my answer here is 0.